I think that success is a process. And I believe that my first Easter speech in the Kosciuszko Baptist Church at the age of three and a half was, was the beginning. And that every other speech, every other book I read, every other time I spoke in public was, was a building block. So that by the time I first sat down to audition in front of a television camera and somebody says, read this, what allowed me to read it so comfortably and be so at ease with myself at that time was the fact that I'd been doing it a while. If I'd never read a book or I'd never spoken in public before, I would have been traumatized by it. So um, the fact that um, we went on the air with the Oprah Winfrey show in 1986 nationally and people say, oh, but you're, you're, God, you're so comfortable in front of the camera, you can be yourself. Well, it's because I've been being myself since I was 19. And I would not have, I would not have been able to be as comfortable with myself had I not um, made mistakes on the air and been allowed to make mistakes on the air and understand that it doesn't matter. You know, I, there's no such thing to me as an embarrassing moment. No such thing. If I tripped and fell, if my bra strap showed, if my slip fell off, if I fell flat on my face, there's no such thing as an embarrassing moment because I know that there is not a moment that I could possibly experience on the air that somebody else hasn't already experienced. So when it happens, you say, oh, my slip fell off. And it's, it's no big deal. I mean, like, I was on TV the other day and somebody says, oh, Oprah, you have a run. Have you not seen a run before in your life? Well, I get them too, let me tell you. So, I mean, this is, I, I can't be embarrassed. I can't be embarrassed. Now, when I first started out, that was not true because I was under the, I was pretending to be somebody I was not. I was pretending to be Barbara Walters. So I'd go to a news conference and I was more interested in how I phrased the question and how eloquent the question sounded, as opposed to listening to the answer. I was so, which always happens when you're interested in, in impressing people instead of doing what you're supposed to be doing. And it took me a while. It took me messing up on the air on, during a live newscast. I was doing a list of foreign countries, and I, there were all these foreign names. And, and then Canada was thrown in, and I called Canada Canada. And I got so tickled that I called Canada. I go, that wasn't Canada, that was Canada. Excuse me, that wasn't Canada, that, was, that wasn't Canada, that was Canada. And then I started laughing. Well, it, was, it, was, it became, a mo became the first real moment I ever had. And um, the news director later said to me, well, if you do that, then you should just keep going. You shouldn't correct yourself and let people know. Well, I know, well, who's ever heard of Canada? So that was, for me, the beginning of realizing that, oh, you can laugh at yourself and you can make a mistake and it's not the end of the world. You don't have to be perfect. And... Uh, Biggest lesson for me for television, because then it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Oh, sorry, bra strap showing. If you want another amazing clip of a young Oprah Winfrey, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. This was 60 pounds ago. You mean you were 60 pounds lighter? 60 pounds ago, I think of my life in terms of my thighs. Well, the new assistant news director came to me and said, 